we will make this product page in Next.js. As you can see here, we have uh, this product that has multiple images that you can change. You can select quantity, select size, select color, add to cart and favorite. And we also have description, specifications and reviews. And we have related products. So we will create this in uh, React Next.js right now. I provide e-commerce store development and consulting and coaching. So if you need e-commerce store to be developed or you need to learn to develop e-commerce stores yourself to code them, then you can contact me below, check out my website and let's get to the tutorial. The first part of the tutorial will be Next.js React project setup. So I will just copy paste this part from my previous tutorial. If you have your project set up already, you can skip this part. Uh, you have timestamps in the description below. But if you need to set everything up from scratch, then watch this part. And after the setup, we will, we will continue with this tutorial. Let's start by typing Next.js getting started. And we will click here, installation. So you're going to need uh, Node.js 18.17 or later. So you can download it here if you don't have it. And then we will copy this command. And we will go into a folder where you want to make this project and start a CMD. So get CMD to this path. npx create next app at latest and then add dot to create it in the current folder and not to create a new folder. Would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. S-Link, yes. Tailwind CSS, yes. Uh, this is no. App Router, yes. And we don't want to do this. You can check this video on my channel, how to set up Next.js, Convex, Shards, Yen, Stripe, Tailwind CSS, if you want more details on how everything works. Then Google Shards, Yen installation and go here to installation. Shards in are just components, UI components that we will use. And uh, we will click Next.js. And then we will not, we will skip this one. We will just copy this one, npm. So we need to wait for this to finish first. When it finishes, we will paste this in it and just run it. So we will select slate, this is just a color. Slate is good. We want these CSS variables and just wait. And now we're gonna go to Shadzien uh, and let's go to button. So I'm gonna press here. And this is the button that we need, this component, and we can just copy this code. Let's go here and then just paste it, add button and just wait for a moment. I think I can also, I need to press enter as well. And it's gonna add the button. And let me start another CMD here because we're gonna need it. Code dot to open this file uh, folder into, into VS Code. And I will also say npm run dev. Let's go to VS Code and here in app, page TSX. Uh, let me first go here and we need to go to localhost 3000 so let's go to localhost 3000 and now this will start compiling that was the first part of the video it's same for every video the setup uh, now let's start with this actual video so i want you to first delete everything from page tsx file inside of app folder and let's start by importing react and then import product page like this, destructure it from dot slash product dash page. So we will make this component. It doesn't exist yet. Then uh, let's say const product data, open this object, ID one, name sample product, price 99.99, rating 4.5, short description. It's a string. This is a short description of the product, long description, also a string specifications we're gonna have an array of specifications so that will be array of strings contains natural fruit s extracts free from uh, free from artificial colors and flavors so this is just an array of strings that you can add and then colors uh, i installed this 
plugin for VS Code, I think just type something like colors or something, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna use these colors, it's an array of strings, and then sizes, SL, SML, XL. So user will be able to select from these sizes, images. Now we're gonna have array of objects. So the first one will have ID1, URL slash prod1.jpg. We will copy paste these images uh, here in the public folder. Alt, so you can download these images from my GitHub repository for this video in the description below. Alt text is product image one. And we're gonna do the same for these other images of the product. Then reviews, it will be array of objects. ID one, author uh, Jane Doe, rating five, comment great product. So we're just gonna add a few of these reviews, also the date in this format. And then another review you can just copy paste or copy from my GitHub. Okay, and then those are reviews. Then let's go related products. ID two, name related product one, price 59.99. Image URL will be string of slash alt product slash alt product one JPEG. So you whatever the name of your image that you will put in this public folder here. We will add those images soon. And then uh, do for the second, the third related product. Now I have all of these products. I will just copy those images and I will go here and uh, in the public folder, if I can find it, I will just paste it by pressing control V. Or I think I can just drag like this. Yeah, so now we have all of these images here. Let's continue our code. Export default product details page. This will be our component. And we will create const product detail page and say arrow function. Now we are exporting it. Return product page. This is one that we imported that we didn't create yet. And say product is equal to product data. So this is this file. Now let's copy this name product page and click on the page TSX and click new file product page TSX like this. Next we will go to shard CN UI. I think you already know from the first part and we will go to card and we will uh, copy the npm this command npx shard CN latest start card. I'm gonna paste it here. I also need button uh, select and tabs all these so you can do them one by one by going here finding them or you can just do it like this all, over, all, all at once and I will paste it here and then press enter to install them while this is installing so now uh, let's continue coding our product page file next to page tsx that we created so first uh, I made this closed uh, curly brackets and this uh, what is it called semicolon this is kind of weird but this is my recording mistake so this is the ending this should be coded at the end so I'm just gonna keep it here for now so this is the ending uh, okay so first we're gonna say use client and then we're gonna import react and use state from react and then we're gonna import star shopping cart heart uh, share to chevron left chevron right plus minus from lucid react you should have this when you installed when you initiated um, shard cn you have this lucid react or if you don't just npm install it then import button from add components ui button import card and card content from add components ui card import tabs tabs content tabs list tabs trigger from add components ui tabs uh, and then import select, select content, select item, select trigger, select value from add components UI select. So these are our shard CN components that you get when you install them. So I think, ah uh, yeah, okay. So it asks me here 
uh, would you like to overwrite i don't want to overwrite i don't want to overwrite this and then it's going to install select and the other one that wasn't here so i think for you it will not ask you to overwrite anything i'm not sure okay let's continue import links from link from next link okay let's say interface product image id of the product image number url string and alt string then interface review these are like types we are defining like types or interfaces it's a bit different but similar id number author string rating com uh, number comment string and date string interface related product id number name string price number image url string and then interface product page props product it's gonna be an object it's gonna have id number name string price number rating number short description string long description string specifications array of strings color string array as well sizes string array images product image array as we defined here review is reviews is going to be review array related products related product array and then export const product page we're going to say react.fc product page props this is one way to do it it's going to be equal and then extract product so you are extracting this product from this product page props because we are giving it here so now we make arrow function open curly brackets const main image set main image it's gonna be use state product dot images zero so the first image will be the main image by default A selected color set selected color will be use state product color colors zero this is the default will be first color selected sizes the same quantity set quantity use state one so one in quantity then handle add to cart let's say console log added to cart and then we're gonna say give it this object spread product add selected color selected size selected quantity so we don't have a backend here so we will just log this so if you are doing a backend then you want to connect this to backend so now we are just we're gonna just be logging this and then implement actual cart uh, addition logic here but we will not do it in this video if you want it you can tell me uh, handle add to wishlist console log added to wishlist but we will not be implementing backend logic implement copy uh, link to clipboard so we're also gonna have copy link to clipboard but i think okay I, I think we implement this i'm not sure okay so let's now then say return so we are just building ui this is backend okay so let's say div max width 7xl uh, margin x auto padding x4 small on small devices so on minimum devices and then on small devices and then larger and and everything larger than large will have padding x8 and then padding y12 below that make a grid grid calls one grid uh, medium grid calls two got eight and now product images so div uh, we're gonna have another div with pool height 550 pixels and margin bottom four image source main image dot url so this is the main image that whatever we set to set it to be alt is main image alt text and then class name object cover so if it's like stretched it gets cut and then uh, width pool height pool route and lg below that make another grid of five columns cap two and then we're gonna list all of the images so product image map image and then we're gonna uh, for each image we're gonna set k key to be image id and then source is image url and alt is image alt and class name with full height 24 cursor pointer rounded md 
hover opacity 75 transition and object cover and on click we will set this image to be main image let me save all of this let me now i think this should work here is what we have on localhost 3000 we have this image and we can change images now by clicking them it's going to be set to main image now this for some reason is underlined red as if it's not found for me so let me uh, remove it and then this is in page tsx and just click it like this i think this should not be underlined anymore so let's continue here after images we're gonna below that below everything so below this close brackets div div we're gonna say product info we're gonna create this uh, div and then uh, h1 text 3 excel font bold m margin bottom 4 product name and if i just save this this should immediately give me here product name sample product so let's go further i'm gonna make some space and say another div and another div now guys uh, tell me below if you want me to read these out loud these class uh, tailwind classes or not because I don't want to waste time if you don't need it but if it's gonna help you like so you don't need to read it just tell me below so I'm not gonna read it for now okay so um, we're gonna make an array so we're gonna create array of five objects like this spread it and then map through each we're just gonna get we're not gonna use the value but we will use the index and make sure to code it like this and then put a star this is star icon so key is i this is the index and then class name uh, make sure to put this backticks this is not normal quote this is backticks and uh, oh my god what is i and so we're gonna have width five height five and then dollar sign and then curly brackets if i is less than math floor product rating question mark then text yellow 400 fill yellow 400 otherwise text gray 300 and then close uh, close curly brackets close backticks and close curly brackets let me see and now we have a uh, number of stars is being displayed so this logic here is gonna color the appropriate number of stars let's continue below outside of this div we're gonna say this span and product reviews length reviews if i save this this will just say the number of reviews here three reviews now below everything we're gonna say uh, dollar sign product price to fix two so two decimal places this will be the price here then uh, let's say short description and below that we're gonna say color selection but let me first show you short description then in the color selection we're gonna say h3 and then give it these class names and say color and then make another div product colors map for each color we're gonna set a button key is color class name is backticks and then uh, width eight height eight etc all of this good stuff and then uh, if this is selected color so we're gonna say dollar sign curly bracket selected color is equal to this color question mark we're gonna give it these like rings around it so we know this is selected and if it's not selected then we're not gonna give it anything else so if i save this i will show you you see how there is a ring when i select something now why is it not coloring let's see ah oh, yeah we need to say style background color will be color and then on click set this color to selected color so if i save this 
now it's gonna select colors properly so let's go below these colors and say size selection make a div make a height h3 heading 3 so and then say select on value change you're gonna take uh, the value and then set selected size to this value and then select trigger select value placeholder select a size and select content product size is map so for each size select item key is size value size and then just put in size so if I save this we should get size selection so I can select it like this let's go next quantity selector so another div and then a B by button on click we're gonna have this arrow function select quantity math max 1 quantity minus 1 uh, because we will like start from okay let me save this let me first say minus here and then another one is gonna have input number uh, minimum one value is quantity on change we're gonna take this event and say set quantity to uh, one to math max one and parse int e target value or one so the minimum monthly quantity is one and then there's some class names so let me see so this previous button was for reducing so if i say like 16 i can click here to reduce this is what this uh, on click does it reduces by one but it cannot get to zero because it's gonna say if this is zero then this will be maximum value between one and zero let's continue another button on click set quantity plus one and then some class names and plus icon so this will set this quantity increase and this is for decreasing okay let's continue add to cart and uh, wish list so another div button on click handle add to cart and some class names and then shopping cart and class name this is icon add to cart and then here um, on click handle add to wish list also another icon heart so if i go here we're gonna have these buttons here add to cart and heart add to wish list let's go down below and say social sharing make a div button variant outline and share to and then i can add more social sharing options so this is going to be that button it doesn't do anything right now let's continue below uh, delivery info div estimated delivery three to five business days and free returns within 30 days like this so if you want this to be a bit darker you can say uh, this is opacity so 70 percent opacity so if i remove this or put at 90 or 100 it will be 100 percent opacity let's continue detailed info tabs so we will have some tabs so tabs default value is description this is class name tab list tabs list tabs trigger value description description this is for specifications and this is for reviews then tabs content so if value is description we will have product descrip long description if value is specifications we will have some specifications so unordered list product specifications map and we will have spec and index specification and index if you remember specifications is a list of strings array of strings and then uh, list element key is index and specification if i save this you will immediately see down below 
here how it works these tabs and let's add another tab reviews and we will make another div and map reviews and then uh, make the card and then card content and then uh, div in this p we will say review.comment and then in this paragraph we will say review date and inside of this div we will say review author and another div here we will make array of five items and map each so we just need to count one to five and we will make the stars again this is star icon he is i class name is uh, with height and then so we are using backticks here again don't forget so dollar sign if i is greater than review.rating then we will uh, pay we will paint this star with yellow but if it's if this star is not like if this is a fifth star and there is only like rating is four then we will paint the fifth star with gray oh, let me let me let me save this first so i didn't add anything else after this let me save this first and see here reviews you see how we displayed them now let's uh, scroll down below and start adding more things so the first thing i'm gonna add is this uh, after the tabs so related products make a div and then uh, h2 and we're gonna make a div with grid grid calls one small grid calls two medium grid calls three etc and then uh, map all of the related products and for each one we're gonna say link ref google com so when i click this product it will go it will open a new tab and uh, open the new product in this new tab but for now i'm just gonna set this link to be google.com but you should set the proper link if you are building a proper store target plunk this means open a new tab this link when it's clicked and then the card will have cursor pointer he is this one and then card content image will be will have source related product image url and alt related product name and then some class names and close the image the tag and then heading related product dot name and paragraph this will be the price so we want to fix it so it's too fixed too fixed uh, and then two in brackets and i think this is it so we finished now let me just wait for a few moments and we we're gonna have related products down below yes okay so this is it we coded everything you see how we have these related products related images we have prices and if i click it it will uh, go to google.com because i made it that way and then uh, specifications reviews everything works thank you for watching if you need e-commerce development services or uh, coding e-commerce coaching services you can contact me below because i also train developers to develop as well as i develop uh, e-commerce websites for businesses see you in the next video